Warren's Cranberry Festival celebrates their 50th anniversary this year, and according to lineup chairman Lisa McCormick, more than 150,000 people attended the event, some of which crowding the streets to watch the Cranfest Parade. Our parade is kind of the culmination, the end of the festival, and uh, we're excited for great weather to get this parade off today. The parade has been a tradition for as long as Cranfest. 50 years ago, in our very first Cranberry Festival we had, um, we started with just a small kiddie parade, so it was just our, basically the Cranberry Grove where his children um, had the parade, and um, it's just grown from, from that point on. 50 years later, the parade has more floats than ever before. One organization has only been in the parade for two years, but say they love it all the same. I'm in a club called The Wheelman. We ride antique bicycles. I've got one of those high wheel bikes. Many people call them penny farthings, and there are going to be a few, a few of us riding today. Oh, and one antique trike. It's got big wheels, it's an adult trike. The organization's purpose in the parade is to ride antique bikes that are over 100 years old. High wheel bicyclist John Bollig says his favorite part of the parade is watching the reactions. Seeing the bright expressions on the little kids, I like to ride the bike real close to the edge of the crowd and the kids, you know, they're, they're going, whoa, like that. Another surprise at the parade was the presence of royalty. We have a lot of activities and a lot of VIPs and royalty in today. We have Miss America here, um, who was Miss Wisconsin last year. And we have her here. We have Miss Wisconsin here, Miss Teen Wisconsin, um, as well as 50 years of Roy Cranfest royalty. And so um, we have a lot of uh, royalty from other festivals throughout the state. Parade went on as planned, and all participating floats went along with it. In Warren's, Ellie Albrecht. First use at nine.